Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Uh, the purpose of this video is to share with you how I have decided to learn PixInsight. Um, PixInsight has always been on my learning roadmap. Uh, when I started to get into astronomical imaging, uh, I made a decision to focus on data acquisition side, uh, learning how to collect quality data. Uh, now I think I've uh, got a reasonable handle on that. I'm sure there's room for more improvement, but the data I'm getting around my M31 Andromeda Galaxy pro uh, project is is uh, looking pretty good. And other people I've shared the um, data with has have provided some feedback that the uh, that the data uh, looks good. So now is the time to learn how to process. Uh, good data and early on in my, my roadmap I said okay I'm going to start with Astro Pixel processor um, I had gotten a renter's license for one year it expires in January and uh, but I always had Pix Insight on my learning roadmap so I decided to download the trial version as you probably saw in one of my past videos and uh, you know I, I now have it now I had to make a decision how do I go about learning it? So I decided to learn from uh, Adam Block. Uh, you, if you've uh, uh, searched for PixInsight content on YouTube, you probably have run across some of Adam's um, videos. Um, I reached out to Adam via email and he was quick to respond. I think October 8th is when I reached out to him. And uh, I had some questions about his training packages and which one should I start with. And I shared a little bit with him what I'm looking to do as far as this M31 project with uh, Luminous, uh, hy Hydrogen Alpha, Red, Green, and Blue. And so uh, kind of had a conversation around that. And so uh, I made a decision to uh, purchase his online training. And the one I decided to uh, purchase is this pick site fundamentals and um, what uh, is included in uh, the fast track uh, pick site uh, picks inside fundamentals is also the fact fast track training uh, for beginners and um, you can go to his website and you can find out a little bit i just completed you could purchase fast track as a standalone for 60 bucks uh, us 60 dollars us um, I just completed the fast track training. Um, here's an overview of uh, what is included, his data and the examples uh, that he uses uh, are for a one shot color camera. That's fine. I'm shooting mono and filters. Uh, but as far as a getting up to speed quickly and how to do basic workflow in uh, Pix Insight for a one-shot colored camera. Uh, I can clearly recommend having just completed the uh, training progression uh, that I thought it was worth the uh, well worth the sixty dollars, and it takes you all the way through to uh, some uh, uh, education around dynamic background extraction for removing gradients and and um, and other type of artifacts like that. So. Um, now I started today his uh, fundamentals um, and I don't know if we have it there so I'm now uh, on the fundamentals uh, section and what I like about the fundamentals fast track was really you know get up to speed quickly be able to process some data uh, I've just started the uh, first uh, video in the fundamentals and He's really digging into the into the desktop. Um, he's digging into the various controls here uh, on on the Windows. Uh, what these controls are. So it's it's starting from a familiarization of the desktop and the various controls that are available. And um, um, now that's going to fill in some of the gaps that the uh, fast track training did not focus on. So. You know, I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Um, I'm very happy with Adam's uh, 
um, lecture style, uh, how he explains things. Um, I think for me as a beginner, he provides the right amount of information um, and easy to follow. Uh, you know, great thing about video training is you can replay. Um, also, as part of the fast track uh, training, uh, there is a document that one of the previous students put together. Uh, it's kind of a, a simple workflow uh, that you can use as kind of your guide. And uh, so, again, I just think the quality so far of the training uh, has been excellent. Um, so, uh, just real quickly, um, I've run the first uh, batch of uh, my data through um, uh, Pix Insight. Um, and um, basically, uh, using this batch processing, weighted batch processing uh, script, uh, which enabled me to load in all the data that I have so far. I think I got about 17 hours of data around M31. I'm going to look to collect another 12, 13 hours. Uh, but um, the ability to use this facility to load everything uh, and uh, have good explanation uh, to have um, uh, explanations of the um, calibration flow diagram, you know, uh, it, it's just been uh, just been really excellent. Um, the output after you uh, get your calibrated files, uh, you get um, this is uh, that's cosmetized. So. Um, it, I ran a process on the data, on the lights. I need to learn a little bit more about why just these many frames were uh, uh, selected and where there was some changes made to them and things like that. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. But um, um, here's all my uh, calibrated frames now, and they're divided by filter. So... Um, and then what you see over here is um, is uh, individual frames for each of the filters. So I've got a lot to learn, but I'm very confident now, having made the decision to uh, learn from Adam Block via his online courses, that I will uh, I'll get up to speed quickly and uh, and continue to learn. And as always, I look to places like Stargazer's Lounge and uh, Cloudy Nights and, and uh, you know, for additional information on Pix Insight. I still haven't fully explored the documentation that's available on Pix Insight's uh, uh, site. Uh, so I'm confident that uh, with Adam's help and then the other sources of information, uh, I'll be able to be a monochrome and broadband, uh, narrowband uh, astronomical imager and be able to properly process the data to a reasonably high uh, level of quality. So I uh, just wanted to put a plug in. If you're thinking about uh, uh, learning Pix Insight, uh, you might want to consider Adam Block Studios for your training partner. Um, Again, I know everybody's budget is different, but uh, so far I feel the money I've invested has been a good return, and I have confidence as I get into the fundamentals uh, uh, training uh, progression that the value will be there as well. All right, um, I don't have very much else to say other than being an imager who started in, imaging in a Bortle uh, eight nine environment, and now that I'm seeing some of the results of the images uh, that I collect in a Bortle three four environment, uh, it's great uh, to have those three the Bortle three four images. You not anywhere near the amount of light pollution and everything that I was uh, uh, seeing in the images I I collected uh, at home in my uh, Bortle eight nine. So. Uh, okay, so anyway, hopefully now you're up to date on how I'm learning Pix Insight. Uh, I do recommend Adam Block if you're looking for a training source. Again, there's plenty of other uh, 
videos out there on YouTube that I've run across as well, and I'm sure it's good quality training. But I, I just uh, so far like the progression that Adam offers as part of his training sequence, and um, and it's working for me. So, but I understand we all learn in different ways. So, anyway, um, as I get a little bit further down the road, I think in a couple of days. Uh, my next trip to a dark site is around the 31st of this month. I'm going back down to GMARS in Landers, California to continue to image. Uh, clear skies uh, seem to be the forecast right now, but that could always change. Um, and as I get further along and start to combine uh, the various channels and produce a color image, uh, I'll share the results of that. And I figure I'll also be... Uh, much further along in the fundamentals training progression uh, uh, that Adam uh, Block offers and I can give you some uh, some feedback for, at least from a beginner's perspective if I'm uh, whether or not I'm continuing to see the value uh, in in his training so okay if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up as always like share and subscribe and wherever you may be in the world um, hope you have clear skies. Other than that, till next time.